Hi everyone, Mike with Newfound Pasta. This week's haul video did something a little bit different yesterday. I think you're going to like it. We did our normal three thrift stores and we added a little bit of retail arbitrage. Awesome stuff. Good stuff to show you. So jumping on in. First, I'm going to get some big stuff down here. We got this privacy pop. And this is a pop-up that goes over a bed. Like it's new with the tags. Uh, gave $17.50 for this. Hard to tell if it's really new with tags or not. Um, I, you know, went wretch down in the bag. We couldn't get the whole thing out, but all the stuff it says that it's in the bag on the tag is in there. The poles, the pop-up tent, or not. When I took the poles out, it kind of looked like it maybe it had been used, or maybe it had been used as a demo, and that may be what I go with, you know. But I'll get it out and investigate it more thoroughly once I uh, want to list it. So, uh, if this is new with the tags, like it is. This is probably $100, $125 or so, plus shipping. So uh, if it's not pristine new, still a minimum of $75 plus shipping on that. So this is a pretty good find. It's heavy. Okay, another item from down yonder is we have the scoreboard clock. It's a big one. I have sold, I, this is the uh, Team Sports America brand. Uh, paid tw paid up for this. Uh, tagged at twenty five dollars, but we got about twenty five percent off of that. So high teens, brand new in the box, uh, pretty high price. But I sold three uh, varying teams last year of the smaller version of this. Literally, it's like this size instead of this size. The little size is for fifty dollars a piece. Not a lot of comps on the big ones, but there was a few, and. Uh, you know, at least a hundred bucks on this. And I, you know me, I'm going to push it on below probably, you know, 125 plus shipping, but in that range, 100, 125 plus shipping. Really nice. Really nice score. Oh, I found that one. So, okay. I picked up this, uh, it's kind of, it's got a little bit of vintage on it. This board game. I wonder if it has a year back here. 1987. There you go. For vintage. Uh, paid just you know three and change for this after after our discount sealed in the package. Uh, a few of these listed, a few sold, but you know about thirty to forty dollars on the board game. So that's pretty nice. Got this glass. We think this is hand made, hand blown glass. Uh, got this for a dollar. And now uh, this is an easy like twenty five dollar sale or so because it has a little hook. It's handmade. Little. Uh, spout pour so yeah there was actually comps on that on you know hand blown ladles like that for about $25 a glass University of Hartford ashtray got that for a dollar as well and uh, these are about 25 bucks it's just easy it's clean yeah so easy profit on that got a couple of boxes of train stuff taped together for three and change after our discount the box car by itself will be about 25 bucks. The second box I think is track, but it was taped together and I knew I was going to make money on this one. So I didn't even open this one. So this is kind of a surprise box, but it'll sell train stuff does well. Every time I pick it up, it sells. So. Okay. So we got a, I sold one of these not too long ago, a Proctor Sil Silex whippersnapper and about five bucks on this with our discount. This is brand new in a shelf worn box. The last one I sold of these, the instruction manual wasn't there and the buyer gave me the nth degree about it, but uh, this one's complete. Instruction manual, everything. The last one I sold, sold for I think uh, 60 bucks or so. So uh, yeah, probably push envelope 65 to 75 bucks on that whippersnapper. Next up, an Auric Iron Cordless. This is a TX850 Iron. Gave about 10 bucks for that after discount. And um, this is used, it has the box, it's in really good condition, but you can tell someone bought it, used it a couple of times and put it back in the box and set it on the shelf. But um, new, this would have been about 75 bucks or so. Used still about 40 to 50, being complete in the box and everything. So pretty good find. This Bodum set, uh, we pick these up all the time, sell them all the time. This one's a little bit different. Um, got this for four bucks. Most of these bottoms are red, the teapot and the cup set. This one is green. I think it's 
thing while I said the green ones and the black ones are a little bit harder to find. I don't know. She may have said something else. But this is complete. Uh, probably new, just in a shelf worn box, because it doesn't look like it's ever been used. It has its little uh, spoons, it has the teapot itself, it has the cups, two cups. So just the teapot alone, there was not a lot of to go on out go on out there with the green, but just the teapot alone was selling for $30, $35. So as the whole set in the box, newish, and only for four dollars, could be fifty bucks, could be sixty bucks. We'll try. We don't know yet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here and grab this one. This is a hunter air purifier. This is a Hepatech Hunter Model 30055. Brand new in an open box. The last one of these that sold on eBay sold for $125. And we got this for $15. Being new and open box. Of course I'll still try to get that $125. But I'm guessing anywhere from $100 to $125. Plus shipping on that. So that was a really good find. Like those over $100 items. Awesome. I picked this up and I don't, th this old tech is, can be long tail. This is only $5 though. And it had a expansion, memory expansion model on it. This is a Bogan or Bogan Friday advanced digital answering system. Got that right. And I, you know, it was taped up and I, you know, get my little knife out and opened it up and it's brand new in there. You can see that well. All the wires are bundled up, just like they should be. The hardware is in there. The 9-volt battery is still sealed in there. So um, there were several solds of these, um, used ones for 40 and 50 bucks. Ben, this is probably new other with the expansion pack with it and everything. Probably push it up maybe to 75 to 100. You know, you know me, I like to push the envelope. So. Uh, but probably long tail on that. Next up, I got excited when I saw this because this was sitting on a shelf like this and I could just see over the top and I could see the Sony and I was hoping it was a, you know, a Walkman or a CD player new in package, but it was just the headphones, but that's okay. Paid $3.50 for these and this is the MDR-G42LP headphones, sold all over the place for four, from $40 to $50, $40 to $50, so yeah. Me, I'm going to go 50, maybe 50 plus. So really, really cool find. I picked up a couple of these uh, expired inks, but these are only expired in 2016. You know, I like five years and newer from the expired stuff. And they're, they're both the same model. The 940XL HP, $5, one of them black, one of them colors. By themselves, about $25 a package uh, on eBay with free shipping. Put them together... And I'm going to push it. You know, I'll probably try to get 50 plus shipping or maybe even 60 plus shipping. So, yeah, pick those up. Woo. Okay, got to rearrange here. I got another hard good I'm going to show you here in a second, but we're going to jump into some clothes. Don't go away. You learned something. Okay, this is probably, this is where the retail arbitrage came in. We got some clothes at, uh, at uh, Gabe's. Everybody knows Gabe's. It doesn't matter if you know or not. Almost all of it was on clearance except for this fir very first item. This first item I paid full price for at Gabe's. This was super cool. I just had a feeling. There's no comps about it, but you just have a feeling. Check that out. It is a split design 50-50 Air Jordan Nike Air hoodie, but it's Air Jordan brand. There's the tag. Um, I paid $40 for that. I'm like, whoa, 40 bucks. Yeah. Forty dollars. If anyone can find out anything about this, let me know in the comments because I eBay searched, I Google searched, I Poshmark searched, I searched and searched and searched. Nothing out there about this. You know, I used 50 50, I used split, I used, you know, all the combinations I could think of, and I couldn't find anything. But I just have a feeling. This is where, you know, I talk about experience and just, you know, just going with your gut. I'm going with my gut on this because I think. This is probably a hundred to hundred fifty dollar item. Just a guess, though. So we'll see. We'll get it listed, and hopefully set a new record, a new world record for a hoodie. <laughs> okay. Next up, another Gabe's item, retail arbitrage. 
This was really cool. This is a women's actually. This is a women's Under Armour real tree combo jacket. Here's the tags. There you go. The Storm One water resistant Under Armour. And the price tag. That's the retail price. Look at the retail price on this. One sixty from Under Armour. The Gabe's tag is in here somewhere. There it is. Clearance at Gabe's. For thirty dollars if this was a men's version of this this would probably bring about a hundred bucks because it's women's it still probably bring about 75 or 80 or so and because this is a women's large it's a good size uh, desirable it has the the pink under armor embroidery so I think some uh, some lady would really like this it's really nice brand new with the tags retail for 160 you know I think at least 80, but you know, I may push it. I don't know. I'm going to do a little further research. You never can tell. This one's really awesome as well. This is another Under Armour. This is a lightweight jacket. It's got all kinds of tags here. Uh, Gabe's put their tag right over the model on this, but this is a Gore, Under Armour Gore-Tex, which helps this tremendously. Almost anything Gore-Tex, when it's co-branded with a good brand, does really well. This has a retail price, retail sticker on it. It's covered up with another sticker, but I can see through it. Retail price on this is $399.99. Serious. Uh, clearance tag from Gabe's, $35. This is a women's Under Armour. Size large, again. Of course, my wife found this stuff. She was looking in the women's section, so really good finds. Um, hopefully about $150 to $200 out of this one. So, of course, all this stuff, this newest tag stuff, is going to go on eBay and Poshmark. So, hopefully, bring some higher prices. Next up, this is a men's. Uh, I found this one. This is a Columbia full zip, double extra large. And this is what they call a Bowen Lake soft shell by Columbia. Retail tag of $115. Clearance that Gabe's for twelve dollars, twelve bucks for the Columbia Full Zip. Really awesome jacket. Um, probably bring about seventy-five to eighty bucks or so on that. Really nice. Uh, a couple more Gabe's items here. I got two of these Under Armour uh, wind pants, track pants. Uh, one was in, uh, one's a size small, not ideal. The other is a size large, more ideal, but these uh, retail for a hundred bucks a piece. They're twelve dollars a piece at Gabe's. Both the exact same. Like I said, one's a small, one's a large. Probably go for about forty to fifty dollars a piece. Of course, the large will probably go for fifty, and this one probably go for forty. Really, really cool though. Really nice. So didn't I tell you that's all of our retail arbitrage? That was awesome. Thank you, Tommy Bernard. Okay. So I'm back to the thrift store clothing. These are still brand new with the tags. You know what was funny, and I talked about this in my live video, was some of this brand new with the tags at Gabe's retail store clothing was cheaper than the thrift store clothing. It was. It was just crazy. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, though. You know, still going to go to both. These are brand new with the tags. Check this out. These are L.L. Bean pants, 42 by 32 having a hard time finding the model on these uh because the uh the the hanging tag is gone but the sticker is on there um on the inside of course it has the model numbers but no like this is so-and-so pant <laughs> uh they're just cotton they're not wool but uh, i only gave five dollars for these half off at five dollars for a brand new pair of ll bean pants doesn't matter if i know the model or not i know they're gonna do fine they're really nice brand new so if I just had to guess though for 50 bucks 40 50 bucks or so I got a pair of vintage foot joy socks it's pretty cool paid two and change for those and uh yeah 20 25 dollars if I don't keep them I don't know. <laughs> no I won't I just got myself some new uh Costco socks so I'm good <laughs> I got this little Thinsulate beanie and this is you know insulated beanie all this stuff is going you know Pretty cheap. This is brand new with the tags. Dollar and change. 20 bucks. If I don't keep it. You know. uh, 
this Reebok shirt. I was going to keep this for myself, but today I ordered myself some other shirts, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. But it'll sell fine, though, because it has very new with the tags. Reebok. Paid about five bucks for this. Nothing special, but this would sell for about $25 or so. It's a Speedwick Reebok. So I may keep it, though, still. Next up, a brand new with the tags. You guessed it. The only problem with this one is it's a size small. Yeah. But it is, you know, on, on field, NFL on field, sideline product by Reebok, Denver Broncos. This was like, you know, after our discount, about four bucks. And this is about $30, $35. It'd probably been about five or $10 more if it had been a good size, but small, you know, got a discount a little bit. This one was cool. Brand new with the tags, Nike dry fit, extra large, Nike golf. Brand new with the tags, Rolls Royce branded. Isn't that cool? Uh, let me see here. Gave about five bucks for that. Not a lot of half off stuff at these thrift stores. The uh, colors were green and orange. Just didn't find much. But that's really cool. If this was just a plain Jane Nike golf, you know, brand new with the tags, polo, it'd probably been about 30 bucks. With the Rolls Royce, I'd probably pump it up to 50. Really cool. Oh, keeping this for myself. Look good on me in Hawaii, won't it? Tommy Bahama, 100% silk. Really nice. Extra large. This was green. The one thing I get that's green, half off, I got it for myself. It's even better. $3.50. So, yeah, keeping that. Next up. Yeah, we got these uh, pair of Nike Dry. Uh, Kind of track pants again paid up for these about 10 bucks they are brand new with the tags size extra large and uh yeah probably 40 or 50 dollars on these uh not a, not a lot of comps to go off of because once this nike stuff gets three or four years old like these are it's hard to find the exact comps because i have the exact model and if somebody's selling these as used they really don't have the exact model so so yep yeah. But new with tags, you can't go wrong. Okay, this is the only thing, well, besides, I think I only had two things that weren't new with the tags. This is one of them. This is a Victory Motorcycles flannel quilted lined shirt. And I only gave four bucks for that. It has the Victory Motorcycles embroidery right here on the back. You know, on their tag, it's a size extra large. No comps on this. Nothing. But for four bucks, this thing is super well made. And, and it's rare to find a flannel, the heavy duty flannel that's quilted line, the diamond pattern quilted. Um, so I think 50 maybe even $75 on that. Used. So really, really cool find. All right, we got this is the last piece of clothing and one more hard good. Let me wrap it up. This one, there wasn't much out there either. Uh, this is the... Uh, I swear, uh, made in Iceland, double extra large, full zip, gave about 10 bucks for that. Brand new with the tags, where they at? Let me check that out, it has the, uh, whatever the Iceland money is, was it the kroner? Uh, whatever it was, it was 10,990, whatever. So I have a feeling that, if this is like yen, it translates to about $109. So, uh. But brand new with the tags. Not a lot out there. There was a couple of things listed on uh, eBay. But since this was new with tags, I think about 50 would be a good point on that. Okay, so last hard good. Last item period. My wife found this as well. This is a kitty walk for a deck and a patio. This is brand new, but the plastic is a little bit torn off of it. We gave uh, 11 or 12 bucks after our discount for this. Brand new with the tag, or brand new. Check that out. So yeah, um, that's heavy. <laughs> uh, since that's brand new, there's there's one version with like stilts, my wife's telling me, that sells really well for, you know, 100, 125. But we still think this will do, as well, you know, pretty good as well. Uh, 80 to 100 bucks plus shipping or so. But it could be more, you know, may I get in and research a little bit further and I price high anyway. So yeah, there you go. There you have it. Tons of stuff, three normal thrift stores, retail arbitrage, we did it all. 
it was fun. It was really fun to getting out and doing that. Found a bunch of good stuff. But uh, thanks to everyone. We are going to probably be rolling out something special for patrons. So make sure you check out Patreon. Sign up if only for a dollar a month. You know, really helps us out with the channel. Uh, thanks to everyone, all the old subscribers, new subscribers, and everyone in between. We appreciate it, and we'll see you guys with our What's Sold on Thursday. See ya.